A woman and her grandchildren are in critical condition after their house caught on fire last night in Fayetteville. One of the relatives tell us their family of five has now been displaced and they're calling on the community for their support. Our Monique John has that story. Some neighbors tell me they were woken up by all the commotion. And I stood out and looked and that's all I seen was smoke and, and all the fire, fire department. Just before 1130 Wednesday night, the fire department says the fire started somewhere in the Christina Street Homes garage area, then rose to the second floor. But hours later, you can see the family here back at the house as authorities assess the damage. He didn't want to speak on camera, but Brian Galarza tells me his sister, Kiara Galarza, was home. Firefighters say she escaped just in time, but... We've got confirmed three more victims coming out. It appears we've got several in cardiac arrest. Brian says his mother, Eunice Galarza, and his nieces, 11-year-old Lorena and three-month-old Talia, weren't so lucky. The fire department says they had to pull them out of the second floor window. According to Brian, they are now recovering from injuries to their lungs and esophagus from inhaling the smoke and soot. Very common with that, um, you know, being, being upstairs, uh, the smoke's going to travel up to a path of resistance. So if you have a fire even downstairs, it's the smoke's going to want to go upstairs on its way out of the house. The fire department says they're still trying to determine what sparked the major blaze. I was thinking about my family, too, all night. All night. I hope they get better and then you know, put prayers out for them. While the Galarza family has lost their home, the Red Cross says they're working with them as they try to find a new one.